cooter sweaters is what I'm gonna call them. Cooter sweaters. The company I work for, they didn't say much, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Oh, I want to make sure he don't bite me. Hi. I'm going to pick him up. I'm scared, though. I don't know. You are? <laughs> wow. Where did he come from? Maybe you should bring him back to the water. Damn. Maybe you should bring him to back to the pond right here. This is right there. All right, come on. Bring him back to the pond. Because this is a long walk to the pond. Look, 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 look. Whoa, whoa, maybe you should put his ass down. No, Ma, you're not gonna bite me. I seen his teeth. Yeah, but my his his, his neck ain't that long to come all the way out and bite my, my bite He's my. He's trying hands. to bite your ass. He can't though. He can't. He can't do nothing. Look. Look. He can't bite my. He can't grip me. Oh. His neck is not that long to go all the way around well, and bite sure me. Make sure he's so cute though. He's like, what are you doing with me? I'm putting you in the water, buddy. What is he doing all the way over here? Whoa! You seen him? He's a snapping turtle. All right. Wow. Aww. <laughs> I caught him. I caught Squirtle. Squirtle. He's probably itching. He probably like stretching his feet down. He wanted to go. He's in the water, that's why. You seen that, Ma? Yeah. He's in the water. He started moving. He did? Yeah, he started moving his feet out. He started scratching me. I just threw him in there. They want some food. It was a turtle. You saved the turtle. Doctor and eyes, talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me. Say you're a good guy, make me believe it. Don't want to hear it. Picture me folded. Never that boy, can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap boy If I wouldn't select baby, yeah that's on my back boy Get ear to the max boy, Finny that's a fact boy I'm from a place where it's dark outside The late nights you can't walk outside Bullets got the names on them, hit you when your homeboys ride As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why Uptown double H, man it's be the five MP in the cut, yeah we get it live Ay. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. So here we go. Got shampoo. This is what your sons do for you. No, 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 no. you don't got Shumpo. Oh. Shumpo got you. Listen, let me tell you something. This is Shumpo's operations. It's not no possibility, baby. You see, you see, you hear what we got here. What we got here is the fire detector. Smell. Get, get, the, get the smell goods, everything. We're going to get you right. We're going to get you bright. You know what I'm saying? This is life. All right. Okay. Get down from this ladder and show you how it's done, baby. We'll show you how it's done now. You're now walking into perfection now. You're now walking. You smell it. it. Smells good, right? Oh, I thought you was gonna say, do you smell what the rock is cooking for some of it? Success, okay, yes. You smell it? Yes, yes, I smell it. It's in the air. Is that your feet? <laughs> All right. You hear Tiki talking shit. 
oh yeah, this is our life. We're gonna get you right. The fire detector. Does the battery work? Yes, ma'am. I and hear it. <laughs> oh. Why is it all wobbly like that? How many screws? We didn't put both the screws in yet. Yo, this is my life. You about to be your life, okay, my my G? Because <laughs> 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 you know I'm gonna use the N word, so I had to, I had to switch it real quick. Yeah, but um. Um. Yeah. Yo, yeah, he was about to be called the N word for real, okay? For oh, I'm not editing that shit out. This nigga just said your life. He ain't really too concerned about mine. He ain't even got both screws in, and he got the battery turned the wrong fucking way. Nah, man, he got all, no? got all wrong. Yeah, yeah, okay. You see, what happened was... Yeah, yeah. We didn't know... We gotta, you know, we gotta see what we got going. Uh-huh. We gotta see where we at here. And, yeah, uh, yeah. It's a bit complicated in here. Why don't you just put both screws in before you put the battery in? Would you? Do you need a, yeah, a supervisor? I mean, another, another, uh, screw. You need a supervisor? I am the supervisor. Well, are you sure? Are you Maybe supervisor? You no wonder why you got fired. <laughs> okay. I I'll edit that part I out. I got a new job, so you can put that. You can leave that in. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, he does <laughs> got a new job, so. Yeah, better too. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> I hate these walls. The thing comes on when it, it smells. You can't just push it. Yeah, out. it does. Push it. Push it, it hard. Where it says test. Nah, look. Watch. When you first open it, watch. Though, I'm telling you, look, watch. The battery's in there. And you got it the right way. Okay, would you like to retest that now? So we can show everybody that you corrected your problem. Your so issue. I turned the battery over, man. I apologize. No, now it's working. I apologize. The company I work for they didn't say much. You know what I'm saying? They didn't okay. tell me I had to flip the battery over. They didn't say that. You know, so man, I apologize. I, mean, I came up a bit strong. You know, maybe it's good if I just get the hell out of here. You know, we'll finish your goddamn job. All right. Oh, don't get fired again. Yes. <laughs> hey, hello, hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Nosy. Hey girl. Nosy. Hi. She looks just other than the Excuse me. stuff girl <laughs> got me on a sheen two-piece like seriously i got on a sheen two-piece i'm surprised at my own self just like y'all ladies okay i know y'all surprised that i got the sheen on but yes girl but it's a two-piece and girl i'm like really liking this the one thing though i hope it don't effing shrink when i wash it that's all i'm asking sheen please so i'm on my way to my doctor's appointment okay let me tell you some people, some 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 establishments, some doctors' offices, they really don't have like the oomph, the coof, the doctor-patient relationship. Even you know what I'm saying, even like the nurse-patient relationship. Last week I had to go to get an X-ray. I was sent by the doctor to get an X-ray. She gave me the paperwork, the lab work of where to go and get this X-rays done. And this was for my spine, okay because she thought I had something wrong with my spine by my vertebrae or my neck. Like, I, listen, all I know is this is what I was told to do, um, my cervical spine. I'm like, cervical spine? I don't even have a cervix. Um, like, I don't have a uterus. What is she talking about? But it's a totally different thing. I don't even know why it's called that. But anyway, so she had me do this because my left arm started going numb. 
and tingling and it was going numb and they was thinking that I was having a stroke. Or um, so she sent me to go get a um, x-ray for my cervical spine to see if like my spine was dislocating like from my vertebrae or neck, something like that. Girl, I'm not a doctor. Because my left arm started tingling, it was going numb, and it was very, like, annoying, okay? I can't really say it was painful because it didn't really hurt, but just the tingling, like, it felt like some, my arm was falling asleep. So, that I mean, I guess that can be painful to a certain extent. So, when I went and did this, um, you know, I waited. A week later, yesterday, the guy calls me with my results. I'm not really sure who they had called me, but they need to practice, like, some type of you know, communication skills, because he was like, hi, I'm calling with your results. And I'm like, okay, you, you can go and get something from over the counter for your pain. I was like, wait, what? Because I, I really was like confused. Like, so what? Like, I, I, when I tell you I was confused, I was like, what do you mean go over the counter? I was like, is that what they, you know what, I'm going. I was like, is that what the doctor told you to tell me? Like, this is this is how it went, okay? This is the conversation. Like, oh, well, okay, just go and get something to make you feel better, like a pain reliever. You're not going to tell me to come in. You're just going to tell me that I'm supposed to be okay with that, okay? And just, just deal with it. It has to do with my spine. So I had to make him make me an appointment for the next day because somebody canceled it, so he did. I don't know what the F he's talking about. And, like, you can't just tell me that. Yeah, not happening. But anyway, so that's what I'm, I'm here for today. I'm not even worried about it because he just didn't know how to communicate with me. But I would just like a better, proper um, introduction to this whole issue that's going on. So here I am on time. I'm sure y'all can see, but this is what it looked like from this view. Okay. So let me go in here. Okay. So I'm done. And I'm fine. Okay, I'm done and I'm fine. Um, it's just about getting old, you guys. It's just about getting old. Seriously, it's just about getting old. The best way that I can explain it to you guys after she sat there and explained it to me, and I got it when she first started explaining it, it's just like, say you have like a bad knee, and you lose the cartilage in your knee, you start hearing it cracking, and it starts hurting real bad. Sometimes you got to go get those cortisone shots, but they really don't work. I know I had to go through that. They didn't work. I just started exercising and that's for my knee. The elasticity in your skin, okay, or the cartilage in your knee, it's the same thing as that, except for um, it's um, in your spine. And the reason why it keeps going numb and tingling my arm, she started saying something to me about being on a computer. She said, if you're like me and you're on a computer, that's when I started feeling it. That's exactly when I started feeling it in my left arm and tingling and it just kept going numb was when I was sitting at the computer editing. But once she explained that to me, I was like, okay, other than that, you know, I'm good. Anyway, I'm over here at Food City. This is the one, I don't really go to this one because it's right down the street from my doctor's office, but they got some thrift store over here. Um, it's not Savers, it's St. Vincent, I think it said, thrift store. I'm gonna go and get me some pork chops because that's the reason why I came over here is to give me some pork chops. And that's probably not really good for my blood pressure, but girl, we can get some goddamn pork chops, okay? Well, this is a nice food city because they got curbside pickup over here. Doctor, we nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy. Make me believe it. Don't want to hear it. I want to see it. See it.
guys what's up what's up you guys what's up i'm sorry about the sun right there in my face i can't really control that for you guys but what's up okay so how's y'all day what's up you know i'm just chilling huh get up at 5 45 every day now now it's 5 45 y'all i get up at 5 45 you know what i'm saying um i just got things to do it just be like a long day so i just feel like 5 45 is the best time for me to get up you know, I could really be ready and not have to rush and run out the door because I'd be having so much stuff to do. But let me tell y'all. So I did tell y'all that I had met this. Did I tell y'all that? I can't remember. But I know I was just chit-chatting in one of these videos prior. And I can't remember. Me, um, I was at the dispense. You know, the dispense, dispensary. And some days it'd be, it all depends on what days you go, okay? It just really depends on what days you go. But normally, like, I have never had to wait really long. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes. That probably is long to some people. I have patience. But anyways, this one particular Friday, which was last Friday, um, I'm, I apologize, really, I do about the sun. I was standing out there, you know, I was in the line waiting to pick up my stuff, you know, to get give me some stuff. And the line was long. It was like about 6.45. So I'm standing in the line and I can't even remember how me and this lady started speaking, but I remember seeing her on my way in through the parking lot because she was on a, this nice ass green motorcycle. So at this point, now she's in front of me and she got the helmet in her hand. But we just talking about the weather because it was hot as hell. I'm like, well, I don't know how you wear that, that helmet you gotta be hot in that you know we start talking and i don't even know how it's amazing how a person can change subjects i don't even know how we got on to the subject of we got grandkids okay i asked her how long she'd been riding the bike she said she'd been riding for a year she had it on her bucket list when she turned 50 she's gonna ride that bike hey you my age you know i'm 48 so we started swapping out stories and i'm not really even sure how we did because we were standing out there for a minute first we stood outside on the line it's like three steps you first you stand outside the dispensary on the line then you get in the lobby you stand in the line in the lobby then you get to go into the dispensary park started talking and talking to each other and we started talking about our grandkids and i don't even know how we got on the subject it was amazing how our stories were so identical like but um so we we finally get inside it's been like probably like 25 30 minutes now we finally inside and so we exchanged numbers girl we were chit-chatting texting calling chit chat we went out to eat last week we had a ball okay when i tell you we had a ball we had a ball we had a good old time chit chat and then everything you know how you meet that one particular friend and they like the best of the best of the best of the friends and like y'all could communicate so good like she's just a really good friend she a really good person and girl we just had like a really good time i was like so happy to meet a friend she was like girl i'm so happy that we are friends and i was like me too she was like you don't know how i've been praying to have a find a friend and i said me too because i have like you know i talk to god every day and like some people might think like why would you pray for a friend like listen you pray people pray for money people pray for all kind of things right and it's nothing wrong with having like one good friend everybody need one good friend and like i haven't had one good friend in so long friends are hard to find and like yeah you so you pray for a good friendship who don't want to pay pray for a good good friendship like it's nothing wrong with asking god please send me a girlfriend that i could relate to and we could hang out with one another and you know what i'm saying chit chat this this is what i'm talking about <laughs> turn is something um it's a half a day for the boys so i got an hour and 20 minutes so i figured i would go to the outlet mall you know me and pancake she got a little doggy stroller but i'm about to return these leggings to the store called legging park it's a nice store they got like loads of leggings the leggings are like ten dollars all the leggings in the store is ten dollars including the sports bra but i'm gonna just be honest i'm not like the hugest fan of the fabric that they use for these leggings like it's those type of leggings like that fabric where it's gonna have your cootie sweating 
like they're called coochies, cool, cooler sweaters. Cooler sweaters is what I'm gonna call them. Cooler sweaters, cause they will make your cooler sweat. To me, it remind me of like the sheen leggings, and they just make your, your cooler sweat. They're cooler sweaters. Cooler, cooler, say it like that. Cooler, cooler sweaters. Listen, let me tell you, they, I got a size large, extra large, honey. I couldn't even put my ankles through it. They, they, they run small. They for the skinnier girls. Now I overheard her telling some lady that they had a plus size section. Well, I'm gonna need to see where that's at. These large, extra large is not, they, they fit like a small. But um, the sports bra, I bought a sports bra for it. it. Listen, let me tell you something. It's not really sport sporting nobody. I mean, it's not really supporting. It's just for show, look cute in. But I figured I would wear it under something because it's not really like a sports bra, sports bra. It got like this little mesh top. And listen, anyway, I'm going to return that. Plus I'm also going to the candle store, Bath and Body Works, because um, the other day we was at the mall, at this other strip outlet mall, and I seen that they, all the candles, all the three wick candles was twelve ninety five. They had a special going on. It was like for two or three days and nobody, like it wasn't no advertised special. And it was so crazy because I had left my coupon at home. I wasn't even going to put it in my wallet because I don't really go to Bath and Body Works unless it's a semi-annual sale when the candles are on sale. Girl, listen, okay. When I seen that, it said all three wood candles was twelve ninety five. A bitch hopped out the car. Like literally, I hopped out the car. I was like, nay, pull over. You can go ahead and probably let me out right here. And she did. I asked them why the sale was. They said because one season they'll pick like the um the wallflowers and another season it'll be like the hand soap. So it all depends. So it wasn't like, yeah, it's not like an all the time thing. But I sure did get my share, my fix. But also, I was also told if I bring that coupon along with my receipt, then I will get my price differential, which is $24 and some change. And I'm going to need that $24 change okay that's what i'm about to do right now me and pancake but um I'm a, i'll probably go to the cosmetic company outlet store too they had this six for 60 i did buy some stuff last week i got an hour and 20 minutes until school lets out 12 40 and that's all i need i'm not trying to be here because for one i just worked out girl my legs are tight they are tizite do you hear me my legs are tizite okay i'm not trying to be walking all over the place my legs are in your stroller you let me let me put this up you know we got to put this up Watch out. Ready? Good one. See, I be like this sometimes in my stroller. Yes, it got a little handle, a little cup thing. It got a basket. I got my stuff in it. It got a little thing right here, a little window so I could see her. It got a harness thing to hold her still. You got your arm in the wrong spot. Let's see. I gotta exchange some things. You guys have plus size leggings?
this is pretty though. That is pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, yeah. Cause I already got this the other day. Don't need that blush. Don't need that. Guess I ain't gonna get anything, huh? Guess I'll just keep my sixty dollars. So there was nothing, nothing at the cosmetic outlet store because it was six for sixty, and all I seen was those two blushes by Estee Lauder. So I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works right here, and then I'm gonna go home. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you, shortness. The incredible three month old that can walk. Tell him, say, no, I'm seven months. I'm just really, really short. And I, whoa, whoops. <laughs> Trying to mess with my stuff already. Hi, Mama. Show everybody what you can do. 